Hi, I'm Anissa, and in this video I'll be showing you the functionality on the Cool Blue ceiling fan remote, just in case you lost your manual or if you need a walkthrough. Alright, so let's walk from the top to bottom, um, starting with the on-off button right here on the top left. This is <clears throat> the light on-off button. Next is the all off button, and this would turn off the light and the fans. So right now only the light is on. <clears throat> Next is the light color change. So let's turn the light back on and let's see what this button does. So it looks like it changes the light from neutral to cool to warm and then back to neutral. <clears throat> Next is this star and the moon and it says it's night light mode so let's click on that and it looks like the light is dimmer. <clears throat> so once again I'll show you what it looks like and then the night mode. Next is motor reverse. It looks like it's FR, so forward reverse. In order for this to work, I'll have to turn the fan on by pressing this button, but we'll get there. <clears throat> and if I press FR, the motor stops and then it reverses. And if I press it again, it stops and then it goes forward. <clears throat> All right, the next one is 2H and it says the fan will stop after two hours. So if I press it now, it won't do anything, but in two hours, the fan will stop if it's still on. The next buttons they show is the sun plus and the sun minus and it's the brightness adjustment so let's see that if I press the plus the brightness adjusts higher and if I press minus the brightness gets lower and that looks like the lowest it can go. Next is the color temperature adjustment and that's the K plus and the K minus buttons. K minus on the left, K plus is on the right. So if I press K plus, it gets cool. And if I press K minus, it's neutral and then it's warm. So if I press K plus again, neutral, and then cool. And then minus, neutral, and then warm. <clears throat> Next is the wind speed control. I did use this already because it was a little intense, but I'll show you the speed at one. And then the speed at two, the speed at three, the speed at four, the speed at five, and then the speed at six. <clears throat> so in case your numbers have rubbed off or anything, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> and then lastly, we already used this button, but in the manual it shows natural wind that just turns the fan on. And then fan off is fan box, which is the bottom right. And that turns the fan. And if we want to turn everything off, let's say the fan is on, we can press all off to turn everything off. And that is all the capabilities on the remote. So let's say you lose the remote or somebody stole it or somebody's hogging it. Uh, the reason why I'm on and our dad wanted to buy this particular fan was because there's an app that can control the fan as well. If you want to see that app being installed or being used, check out our video on it and we'll walk you through it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that that answered all of your remote related questions. 
Again, I'm Anissa. I'm covering for Iman. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.